Okay. Um, yeah, I felt like he's he basically tried to write two different books and jam them together. One is the touching, heartfelt story of this teacher in a small town, which yep. could have been well done had you focused on that. And he's trying to write this thriller about time travel, which up and on, th you know, at 360 pages in, nothing's happened yet. So clearly that is not as thrilling as one might have hoped. And I feel like if he had just written two separate books, focus on one thing, because it's just, I mean, the heartwarming tale could have been all right, maybe, but it's not good. <laughs> and, and the, and, and like I said, the, the people that I've told to, to listen to the book on tape, which is done incredibly well, that I, I got to look up who this guy is because he's amazing. I mean, he does all the accents and he does everything, but it just pulls you along. He just pulls you along the story. But the people that, that I know that have read it, because I didn't read it. I listened to it at least a dozen times, but I, I never read it. The people that, that read it didn't like it. So I, I think it's it's largely due to the skill of this narrator. And he, I mean, he's incredible. You, you just stop and you go, wait a minute. He just did a kid and an old woman and a guy with a main accent and then a text. I mean, and you just, you feel like your ears are full of these characters. And I, and I know that that's missing in the book. Yeah. I mean, the characters are just terrible. I mean, there's nothing. They're all just wooden nothing. And even the main character is so unbelievable. I mean, I'm sorry. An English teacher knows how to spell goddamn. <laughs> he, right. He's using such terrible grammar. And his. He, and by the way, whoever edited this or did did not edit Probably it. Probably didn't. It's yeah. a mess. I mean, there's so many mistakes. It's like, it's outrageous that this would make it through a major publisher. It's just, oh, it's Yeah, so I don't, I, well, you yourself said that they don't, the, the big five don't have. I know, most of them, I, know, I mean, I, I just, I can only speak to, for sure, for uh, about one, because I had a friend who worked there and flat out told me we, we're, we're not editing the books anymore. Mm -hmm. We're just taking them and slapping them, you know, slapping them out. But yeah, um, I, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't think we're getting, this is crazy that we're not getting nothing from Jim. So it's, Lauren, did you read it? Or you did, did you just come on I, to have I, the opportunity I, to bash Stephen King a little? Well, I'll do that because you know, <laughs> um, although that's unfair. I, I mean, I, I, Stephen King is part of the reason I wanted to write to begin with, but we're talking about Stephen King circa 1978 through 84. Mm. Um, and it, it's difficult today because the art so you're a fan down. of the stand and 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 that type uh, of I'd stuff. I'd say carry through misery. Okay. So I, I'll yeah, even go I'm up to sure. as far as probably eighty-eight. Um, but you got to realize what um, as a horror devotee, it's it's he was a important figure of taking the gothic out of horror and putting it in the, in the suburbs. He was the guy who who kind of. Um, completed the transformation that people like Thomas Tyron and uh, William Peter Blatty had started. And I think he was intoxicating because of that. Um, mm. But then, yeah, I mean, you get to the late eighties, the novel started to get overlong. His characterizations start to get uniform. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's huge. And, and, and it honestly, what used to be a, a transcendent storyteller so it, he, he could tell a story about a teenage girl in high school who's discovering that she's a woman and, oh, by the way, she might be able to kill people with her mind. Became the lamest of things like, oh, time travel to stop the Kennedy assassination. Well, you know what? That's a quantum leap episode. So where's that <laughs> guy who, 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 used to, who used menstruation as a metaphor for, you know, the, the this bullying and high school dynamics that can just destroy a person's self-esteem like at one point this guy was incredibly groundbreaking and now well not so much so no i haven't read any new king in well over a decade mm. hey jim hey guys hey Brett. hey tara how's it going and someone new i don't think i've met oh, this Jim, this is Lauren. Lauren, this is Jim. Uh, hi, Jim. I promise you I'm not actually new. I've been around for 47 years. This is a friend of mine from my uh, writer's group. That's a good one. Lauren is a uh, horror writer. I am. Oh, okay. 
Well, then we're talking about the uh, right person today, then, aren't we? <laughs> we're exactly the wrong person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what did you think of what, Did you finish reading it? Me? Is that yeah. a question to me? No. Yeah. Okay. I did not. No. For a couple reasons. Number one, it, well, you guys were just talking. It's just huge. Number one. Number two, I got to admit, I'm just not a big fan of like time travel, like fantasy type things. It's just not just not my thing. So it would have taken an awful lot to get me to read whatever thousand pages. I may go back to it at some point. I gave up. Yeah, my my advice is if you want to go back to it, go to the audible. The audible is a, is an art yeah. form. Yeah, you had mentioned that before. I think that makes sense. Yeah. It just, yeah just, I don't know. I mean, it was just, I, there, it, it's so flawed in so many ways. And I don't, and to me, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but like at the heart of it, the whole thing is let's go back and save Kennedy. And I'm like, why? Who cares? You know, yeah. like maybe that's bad, but you know what? I don't give a crap. You know what I mean? Like to me, that's not a compelling thing. You know what I mean? It's not enough to try to, it, I really don't believe at all that it would be this monumental change that they that he thinks it would be you know what i mean i completely disagree so i think it's just his way of being able to go in and wax nostalgic for the 50s for 800 pages you know what i mean i think that's what and so he could get in some of his favorite trademark names and you know oh you know remember this cola and like it just it, it's like it's enough already okay it's just it's boring and and if I had to yell show, don't tell one more time, I swear. I just think. Well, how far did you get? I made it to page 360. And I said, wow, that's a full, that's a full length book. I mean, that's, that's, you know what I mean? And nothing had happened yet. That's 360 <laughs> pages of no action. And I was like, oh God, I, I just, I can't do it anymore. It was like torture. Every time I had to pick up the book, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get through 10 pages. And I'm like, I, oh God, it's so boring. I just, and I'm like, you know what? Life is too short to read stuff this boring. I just, I have so much other stuff to read that I don't want to torture myself anymore. Yeah, I get you. So I just, yeah, I just, I gave up. So the Did they make this into a movie? They made it a movie, right? Television it's a tour. series. Mini series, yeah. Television series. Mini series. Oh, yeah. Did anybody see it? No. No, you see it? On Hulu, no. I, no. But, mm, no, thanks. The audible apparently was narrated by Craig Wasson, who, as an actor, um, he was he was the lead of De Palma's Body Double. So okay, he's, that, he's, that guy is it, it, absolutely amazing. I mean, yeah, incredible. I mean, uh, and he's definitely a genre actor too, which is probably how he got the gig because he's he's in one of the Nightmare on Elm Street re, uh, sequels. He was on Tales from the Dark Side back in the day. Looking over his IMDb, he's he's probably a perfect guy for the material. It's incredible, um, yeah. but unfortunately. You know, the King name means more than the writing does at this point. Um, and it's an open secret, kind of. If you talk to any of my purists that in the HWA, um, they'll all tell you. Like, on one-on-one, -on -one, they'll tell you, like, oh, I stopped reading King at this point, or I stopped at that point. But you get them in a group of two or more, right? No one will say a bad word. It's always, oh, King is the best that's ever been. Right. Really? So better than Shirley Jackson. Better than H.P. Lovecraft. Mm. Better than William Peter Blatty. <laughs> Better than Brian Hodge? No, it's 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 ridiculous to be honest. But um, he does have he's very much comfort food for the horror community, though. He has a voice that they recognize. He has a mm, yeah. And it's, a, it's a ritual. It's a it's a ritual. Like buy the King book this year because there's one out every year. Yeah. How many books has he written? Like forty some. Lord. If you're counting everything, it has to be over fifty. Um, wow. because there's nonfiction books in there. There's books on writing in there. There's a books, mm -hmm. a book about gargoyle statues, nonfiction. Um, there's a ton of stuff in there. Um, but again, listen, he's going to make $800,000 cold every year releasing a, a novel. He is not going to stop just simply because his heart isn't fully in it. And yeah. his lead time is ridiculous. Like what you don't realize is that he routinely takes a decade to write a novel. The thing is, he has so many projects in the air, there are always something coming to fruition. So it, he might have started this book right after you know, Oliver Stone's JFK came out, for all we know. And he just worked on it for two decades. That's very interesting. Likely. 
Yeah. So I probably got maybe 150 pages in and holiday took, to, took over and just kind of like lost interest. You know. Did you read it again, uh, ever? You, no, did you no. never read it? I've never no. even read it. I've, I've only listened okay. to it. So I, I, yeah. I just, I don't know what we're, I don't, we never seem to find anything that we all like or that anybody like, you know what I mean? Like Everett liked it, but obviously the audio book is, oh, it must be a different animal. Because, it's, it's a totally yeah. different animal. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we just can't seem to find anything that's any good. It's just, it's, oh, another thing I wanted to say is, um, is there any chance that you guys would be open to a meeting earlier from now on? Because we could get, Christine would come if we did it earlier. Sure. Andrea would yeah. come if we did it earlier. Just for the, I mean, even for me, seven o'clock is like, it's, it's normally by seven o'clock, I have, you know, I'm in bed reading a book, you know? Yeah. So yeah, if we did it more like five, five thirty right. or something, we would get, we would immediately get two more people every time. Sure. So, or at least pretty often. You sure. Know? Good. It's fine with me. What time would you do it though? Six? I'm thinking like 5 30, 5 45, even. I, I, I don't want to leave too. I mean, I don't know. Ooh, something's sleeping. Yeah, as long as it's not earlier than 5 30 or 5 45, because I work and go late sometimes. Well, that's the thing is like, I, me too, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just, any, but to me, any later than six. And I'm white, you know what I yeah. mean? I, but, and I know that Christine is, but like, okay, well, let's see. Well, I'll say, let me, I'll put out a thing and see what everybody thinks, if we can get a sure. consensus. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's not working. <laughs> it's just too much. It's, it, it's, by the time we're done, it's after eight, half the, well, not when we hate the book, it's quicker. Cause usually we don't make it more than half an hour when we really hate the book. But on the days when we actually get going, it's after eight. By the time I actually get the dog walked and get everything, it's you know it's getting pretty late for me. You know what? I'd love to see uh, for our next book or one of our future books, Tara, is a book that you admire and like. <laughs> I would like to read one of those. I'll have Seriously, I will have to find something. It's it's so long that I since I've read anything other like the one that we were talking about, like the garbage stuff that we read that's fun you know what i mean like and i read a lot of that but there's nothing that it would be not there's nothing to talk about in a book club you know what i mean i had or, I, well, no maybe not, but all right for february's not february for march's book i will find something that i like but for this month we need to pick something i was thinking maybe we do um either olive kitteridge or um, yep. we're talking about Fa the Faulkner as I lie dying the last time with Christine, and I did buy a copy of that. So I was thinking I would want to read that just to, but um, just to have something that we have previously talked about that people, some people at least have liked. So, but if anybody has any other suggestions, I really like the Olive uh, series. Or yeah, me too. She's really good. She's she's fantastic. I think. I don't know. So I could do that. How many are there in that series? I think there's only the two. She has other. Uh, there's Olive, really? and then Olive again. Uh, she has other books, and they're all kind of in the same town. You know what I mean? Yeah. Most of them are kind of in the same area, so sometimes the same characters will kind of show up, but they're not necessarily related. Yeah, I'm uh, looking at that. Yeah, book two of two. You're right. Okay. She's very talented. I'd be. I'd be good with that. That, but I don't know about Everett. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Are right, so we going to do she, all of Kitteridge? Sure. I, I took it out of the library when I read it, so I'll have to. Sounds out. good. Let's do it. February. And what time? I don't know, and I don't know what day yet. I'll, I'll check the calendar and, and I'll put a post out tomorrow. Good deal. That sounds good. I'm good with that. We have happy hour next Thursday. So tell your friends. I really want it more than us. You guys, you guys have friends? Nobody <laughs> must have a friend because I don't. <laughs> I, I brought a friend, see? You you didn't even No, That doesn't work. I just showed up. No, but, I, but at least I have a friend who came. Um, so 
I've already done what I can. I and I've brought my mom before. See, and that's the really right. the of my social. You get two network. points. Um, hey, I brought my wife before, so I get a point. True. But we need to like we need to really be sharing like and getting more, especially for the happy hour. We need to get more people. If it's just going to be us sitting around and me drinking wine, then it's just that's not cool, you know. I don't really need to be drinking that much if <laughs> if it's not for work, you know. Are you drinking um, wine now? Not now, I'm not. No, but next week at happy hour, I will be. Oh, for happy hour, they got you. I'm not drinking a book club, although it might make it more pleasant if I hate the book. But mm -hmm. but then I would be yeah, even if I'm bashing, you know, the authors when I'm sober. I don't want to know what'll come out of my mouth after a couple. <laughs> <of months. laughs> what, what what time is the happy hour? Five thirty. Happy hour is at five. Well, it starts at five, but it's drop in. So you know, whenever. Okay. Good deal. But yeah, so um, and share it on Facebook. It's go to the event and then share it so that you know, in case you have friends who might want to come, just because you know we can't just. It, it's just it's really stupid just to be sitting around us. And I don't want to. Exactly. Like, and what happens is we start to talk about business, and then we can't re put the recording on. You know right, what I mean? Right, like right. We, yep. we can't be talking. You know, if it's like we can talk about the way things work or whatever, but we can't be talking about book sales and money and whatever else, and then put the recording on YouTube. We need to. We yep. need to talking. With, the whole point is to have strangers come in and ask questions about the process and how do you get published? Yep. What you're looking for and blah blah blah. Um, you know, so that's what. We, so we need those strangers. We yeah. <laughs> when it's just us, we end up yeah. So we. You know, we should save that stuff for our, our meeting. So, okay. So share and and Jim, you you didn't get you don't get the we do a, like a monthly update for the Blood and Square authors, but it's only people who are already published because yep. we have sales and stuff in there. Um, but I said in there this week, please go try to go on like once a week to like the Blood and Square pages and just like if there's stuff, just like it. And if it's anything that is relevant to you, like share it. Okay. Or try to, we're trying to build up our, you know, to make it look like we're we have more activity than we do. So absolutely. Okay. I will uh, do that. I thought I, I think I've done a fair bit of like. Yeah, you have. You you actually do quite a bit, but um. I'll, yeah, I'll definitely. Yep. We're one of the only ones who does. So just putting. It, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do a, a mailer this weekend just to everybody. Hey, here's a reminder. So. How do you, um, Tara, how are you creating the social posts for Biden Square books? What tool are you using? I do what with them? Like, how do you, how are you creating the posts, like the visual posts? What, are you using pictures a tool? And stuff? Yeah. I'm just going, uh, sometimes I'm doing it as a slide on uh, Google Slides, and sometimes I'm just doing it in Word and then cropping, then I save it as a PDF, save it as a JPEG, and just crop it. Oh. Hmm. to show me how to do that sometime it's i i was doing it as slides but then you have to go back through and and do this whole clipping thing and Tara, yeah. do you want me to piss you off yeah look at the top of your keyboard yeah There's a button called print screen no i know that but it comes out it comes out it doesn't come out the way you want it comes out real small and grainy it doesn't it it shouldn't it does on my computer well, you can use ahead, the clip. Piss her off some more. Well, no, well, I no, 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 no. I mean, really if, if it's not working for her, it's not working for her. But I mean, I, I use, for for my YouTube channel, I'm, I'm constantly using still images I take, steal, borrow. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I do that too. But, for, and I do for that, everywhere. But, but, I mean, but to, when I create my own with mm -hmm. like a picture and then I add the words mm -hmm. and stuff and then I crop it, it's usually easier to either do it in a slide so it's the right size. And it's and that way I can put whatever color I want behind it. Yeah, I just use Paint Net and I just do layers to do all that. I mean, but it's literally like th three keystrokes and I'm like just fine tuning. You're using Paint? Paint.net. Paint don't don't go with the actual Microsoft product or else you're asking for trouble. Oh, okay. So this is this is not a Microsoft product. No, it's a pro product that has allowed like people who know what they're doing to actually. Um, create the same program basically, but it doesn't crash or uh, create files with unstable elements or anything else that Microsoft is so famous for. Hmm. Paint.net, yeah, I just went to it. It's it's pretty incredible. 
Yeah. Do you pay for it, or is it, oh, it? Do you have to pay for it though? No. Oh, okay, good. What's the first? I'm, I'm there. Custom design, paint, design art. What do you go to first? Uh, I'd have to go to the page. Look, give me a second. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't have to go into a tutorial. I'm just curious. Yeah, I've I've had I've had it for years, and I I mean it's it's basically Photoshop, and it but it also links really well with uh, Office or OpenOffice mm. uh, because it, it a lot of the problem is with most programs is you try and upload it into a word and you're just screwed immediately because it, it just won't come up properly but these two like work hand in glove so but whatever is doing, if you're comfortable with you should, you know, because maybe the world works time. that way because it's a pain in the goopa the goopa you sure it's paint.net i'm not sure that i've got the right one stop recording now because we've stopped talking about the book so <laughs> now we're talking about paint.net yes we are so let's not do a free commercial for that i'm gonna stop recording <laughs>